So, uh, I loved your trailer. When are, when are fans going to be able to see it? The trailer is coming soon. I can't say when. We're going to unleash the Bros trailer soon. They would kill me if I told you what day, so I can't. But very soon, and I'm very excited for people to see it. Uh, I love Nick Stoller. He's yes. your director. He is, and my co-writer. Exactly. Um, can you talk a little bit about why Nick was the right person for helming the film? And for working on the film? Nick came to me and said, uh, in September of 2017, Nick Stoller came to me. We'd worked together before, and he said, I want my next movie to be a rom-com. I love rom-coms, but I want to make one about a gay couple. But he said, I'm not gay, because he's very straight, so do you want to write it with me? And you can star in it, and I'll direct it. And no one has ever asked me to write a movie, or star in a movie, or anything like that. And so I just said yes, knowing it was a huge opportunity, but having no idea what the movie would be about or whether I could pull it off and so I'm very grateful to Nick for believing in me and I think there was something about him being straight and me being gay that I think ended up being uh, the right alchemy to tell this story in, in a way that would be authentic to gay people but also relatable to everyone. Uh one of the things, obviously, many films change in the editing room. What did you guys learn when you were test screening that maybe impacted the finished film? Um, what did we learn when we were test screening? Well, Nick and I love jokes. It was very important to us to do a comedy that made people consistently laugh out loud. I think it's been a really long time since people went to a movie theater and just laughed a lot. You know, we get a lot of things sold to us on streamers that are supposed to be comedies, but they're, they didn't remind me of the comedies of our youth and the rom-coms of my youth, like uh, When Harry Met Sally and Moonstruck and Tootsie and Annie Hall and uh, Broadcast News and all these movies that were rom-coms but held themselves to a very high standard. So I'm not saying we met that level with Rose because those are classic movies and I'm not saying that, but we tried to hold ourselves to that standard. But what we realized during the test screening is that Although people's main reaction was that, oh wow, it's really funny, people were surprisingly moved by the film. And I think that has something to do with the fact that there just haven't been many movies, especially many comedies, many romantic comedies that centered around a gay couple. So it's new for straight people and it's new for gay people and there's something about that that I think really hits people and, and I've, been, I've been surprised delighted but surprised by how moved people are in addition to laughing a lot. Um, what, uh, my last thing for you obviously because I, I got thrown off by the last question you know what I'm talking about. Um, one of the things that I found that really refreshing in the trailer was that you're not shying away from showing sex. Yeah. And can you sort of talk about that making sure you wanted to actually include that? Yeah, it was important to me. It's a part of life, <laughs> you know? It's a part of dating uh, for straight people, for gay people, for bi people, for everyone. And we're making a romantic comedy. Sex is romantic, and it's also really funny. You know, we take sex very seriously, but, you know, sex can be really funny. And how can you do a story about two people falling for each other and not deal with sex? There's so much to mine from that. And also, I will say, gay people, gay men, we just haven't had many stories where sex was funny and romantic without it being something like dirty. It's like we've had, we've either had like two dimensional sitcom characters who talked about sex but in a very cartoonish way that didn't feel real, or we have porn. You know, there's nothing in between that feels human and real. And so it was important for us to include that. And I think it's the authenticity of the movie that's making everyone, straight people, gay people, really uh, come alive when they see it and really be thrilled by it and, and they think it's funny too. There was one straight guy at a test screening who loved the movie and he was like, yeah, the sex scenes were like jackass. Like, they made me a little uncomfortable but it was so funny, I didn't care. And I was like, great, I'll take it. On that note, sir, thank you for your time. Thank you.